Hey. Hello everybody. We are in New York. Yes. We just got here yesterday mm -hmm. and yesterday was so hot that it's we a hot week. It's overall. a hot week, but we were so hot that we didn't even want to take out our camera or anything. We were sweating. We still are. Yes. Um, but we are at the MoMA Museum today. And I'll give you guys a little sneak peek. Yeah, so, I feel like there's a lot of things to see. I don't know if it would take a full day to be here. Like some people have said you do at the Met. But yeah, the Met we're going to on Monday. Today is Saturday. Yeah. We're here for a week and um, we figured that it would be so nice to see uh, the MoMA Museum because yeah. he's a modern art person. <laughs> oh yeah, they're asking us to put on our masks. He's a modern art person and I'm not. So, but they still have like Van Gogh here, so I'm super excited. Yeah, also, away. our fits, guys, oh, yeah. are matching. We are literally matching. We're 100%. <laughs> and YC. <laughs> this is oh, no. Honey with my Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go up the stairs. I think we'll just find things along the way, but she really likes the more, like a little bit older, like. Well, I was in, European. I lived in London for a year, so I really like the old yeah. art, not like modern as much, but looks like they have both in a modern art museum, so that's good. So we'll see. See you guys up there, and then we'll just give you guys a tour of what we've been seeing. Yeah. I'll probably film the parts I like, he'll probably film the parts <laughs> he likes, so. You'll see our see taste. See you guys there. So. The art piece that I'm about to show is our quotes from Gone the Seven Social Sins. Did he say these words or? He wrote them. He wrote them. Quotes. Oh yeah, so he wrote these quotes, let's see. Super cool. Apparently this is printed on his tombstone too. Super interesting. Okay guys, this is a more accurate depiction of what MoMA actually looks like compared to what we showed you on the base level. This is just all art. I think we're in the 1970s to present section. So I'm just excited to go to my Van Gogh and my 1800s. That's her favorite. That's her favorite. That's literally my favorite. She should be living her. <laughs> I should be living my life over in that pastime. My feet hurt. Already. Already. And I'm sweating. <laughs> but at least there's AC. It's like super humid. So we don't even. We're, we're very careful about when we have to go outside. Honestly, I literally stepped outside the hotel and I was just dripping. Sweat. All the time dripping. All the time dripping. And I'm like. I have been walking for three minutes. Why am I sweating? It's not sweat, it's humidity. Yeah. Guys, alien look at looking. This. It's like an alien looking thing. It looks like blue. <laughs> it looks like blue when he's laying down in his yeah, place. It like was a self portrait of somebody. <laughs> well, that person looks like I our dog. I guess it's like my dog, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hey guys, just checking in. I wanted to film um, a art piece that I thought was super interesting. Look at this one. So it looks like this from afar. And then if you look, all of the reds are um, brushes, like paint brushes. And they're red, but then he's also like put some red paint on it too. And it's, it's so intentional. Brushes. It's all different types of brush heads. This like brush. this one is like black, and then that one is like wider and thinner. And it's like covered in red paint. Some of them are orange, like you can see here. Some of them are orange. Brown. And it's like in a. Um, 
plastic, like, almost like, like the red water dripping down. I really don't know. It's by Armand. I still use brushes. Oh, brushes embedded in plastic acrylic box. So cool. Oh my gosh, this looks like a tea bag. Let's see. <gasps> it is. You, no, you I literally it. nailed it. I, I didn't, didn't even see this. You didn't know what it was? Not from a distance. Oh my god, it's literally called tea bag from four on plexiglass. <laughs> I knew it because it looked like a tea bag with the tea and then like there was a string. Yeah, it's a tea bag. That's a really freaking this is a cool exhibit. Okay guys, we are so tired. But the final I don't know. But the final stop that we're at is her favorite. My favorite. And I'm gonna show you. And I hope each and every one of you know what it is because this one didn't know what it was. He didn't know what it was. Comment down in the comment section below what painting this is and who it's by. He didn't know what it was, and I'm not gonna say who it's by, but I hope each and every one of you know what it Why is. Why can't you educate the people? No, the people, the people need to understand. The people are educated. Who created this masterpiece? Because this one didn't know. So comment in the comments section. Who it's very it's pretty. By. It's gorgeous. Uh, I'll give you another hint. It's a, it's a guy. And then his other stuff is behind me. So there's that. There's this. These are massive. And then there is this. So we are leaving the MoMA Museum. It is now 4.31. We got here at 12.20, so it's been four hours minus like 30 minutes for lunch. lunch. So we've been here. Pretty tired, but we, we went through every floor. Like diligently. Yeah. Like I'm so surprised. And we did, a, we just observed, we took pictures, we rested. I sat down like kind of like how I am doing right now. I'm like so tired. Yesterday I wore sandals and we were walking around bar hopping and I think that's what wore out my feet. Yes. But we're gonna go because our hotel has free wine from 5 to 6 p.m. and it takes 30 minutes to go back. Yeah. So we're going to our hotel to get free wine at the rooftop and then we're gonna go to dinner. We'll go to a nice restaurant for dinner and see where the night takes us after that. Okay. But it's been a fun day so far. Good afternoon, everybody. Good afternoon. <laughs> the next day, yeah. we, um, after the museum, we got free wine. We should show them, actually, yeah. this week. Apparently, we'll show you next time when we grab it. At our hotel, there's free wine from 5 to 6 p.m. every day. So we literally got six glasses of wine last night. Actually. And then um, called my auntie, who's living in New Jersey, um, coordinated some time to meet with her. And then we went out. We do, yeah, we went out. To we the went, packing district. I saw an old a, friend. We also grabbed a slice of pizza as well. That oh, was really nice. Oh, we did. For dinner, we got a New York, York pizza. And it was good. Yeah. But in my opinion, nothing to hype about. I thought it was pretty good. You thought it was pretty good. Um, so now it's the next day. Um, I was really hungover this morning. so A little bit of a late start. Yeah, so it's 1 p.m. We're at Chelsea Market today, so we're gonna do Chelsea Market, get Los Tacos number one, which is apparently the number one tacos in New York. And I and wanna then, grab a little sweet treat in here as well. I know they have a bunch of market, like things in the market, so. I know, so we're at Chelsea Market, and we're gonna spend the day here, and we're gonna walk the High Line and do a bunch of like walking. So yeah. I'm wearing my knee brace today because I messed up my knee, so. There's a ton of stairs. So, Chelsea Market, this is what Chelsea looks like. Such a cute little neighborhood, and I was out last night, I think this way, right Steve? I was at Catch, um, but it was too much of a mess, so I literally left after 15 minutes. 
because you girls know you can't be messy, only classy. <laughs> There's a Frenchie. There's a Frenchie. I need to say hi. Oh my gosh. Can I say hi? Can I say hi? Oh my gosh. You're like mine at home. Oh my gosh. He's just like mine at home. I'm sorry. I have Frenchie at home and mine does the exact same thing. Who did that remind you of? Bluey! <laughs> Alright, let's go.
surprised we were able to go the whole way, but it was really nice and Well, relaxing. I'm trying to really stick to our itinerary because I spent so many hours on it and so did you. Yeah. And I really wanted to finish it, but I think we put a lot of stuff in one day today, yeah, like Greenwich Village we over and um, oh. Washington Square Park, The Vessel, yeah. High Line, which we did, and then Chelsea Market. So far we've only done Chelsea Market and The High Line. And then and now we we're going to do The Vessel. It's literally right there. So we're just going to do that. And then what's missing on our itinerary that we didn't do was Greenwich, Greenwich Village, Village, Hudson Yards, which... This is Hudson Yards. Well, I, is there like a specific place in Hudson Yards? It's just that there's a shopping center, there's the vessel. Okay, so I guess what I'm going to try to do for the rest of the time until dinner is the vessel and Hudson Yards. Yep. So I guess the only thing we didn't do is Greenwich Village, which I think will be a whole day affair because my friends say that's a really cute place. Yeah. And Washington Square Park. But there, we'll be yeah. getting to the top of that. Yeah. I look tired, don't I? A little tired. But we just, tired. we went to bed late, so. I went to bed at 3 a.m. Of course, it's going to be a tired day. Out party too much. <laughs> it's All a right, crazy guys. one. Hi, guys. Hi. We are at Midtown, I think. Yeah. Flatiron. I'm not really sure where we are, but we're on the 230 Fifth Avenue. Avenue um, rooftop. Rooftop. So it's sunset right now, and we can see the Empire State Building. So yeah. we already ate dinner, actually. So we had a really good dinner. With, yeah. Uh, good Peruvian, South Amer South American food. Yeah. So we're just gonna take some pictures and take in the view. Insane sunset. There's the Empire State Building. We're walking back through the streets of Soho towards Lower East Side. We actually didn't ever say we never went to the vessel. Oh yeah, we didn't update you on that. Because Apparently it's just closed. Um, we don't know really the reason. So we wanted, we took a couple pictures, but yeah. then we went to dinner and then we went to that bar that we said, but then it um, wasn't really my vibe. Yeah, it's in. it was in Midtown, like we said, and we showed, but not, not really, really my vibe. vibe. So yeah, we're just winding down Back. and um, we're gonna get maybe some cupcakes. Yeah. And, um, have a drink at the rooftop bar and just call it a night because we have the Met tomorrow and I'm super excited. Yeah, we can't have a repeat of today where we were just so tired in the morning and we start a little bit late. We definitely want to make a, a full day of that, especially since it has some of your favorite type of art. So this is the cupcake place that's little to my right. It's called Little Cupcake Bake Shop. Let's go in, <laughs> get some cupcakes. Yeah, like these are the streets of Lower East Side. I don't know. It's quiet yet nice and maybe that's because I'm just new here and I don't really know much about the city so maybe Lower East Side's not the best place to be but so far I like it. I also like Chelsea but Lower East Side is cute. All right guys, 30 prints. This is what it looks like. Coffee shop, homemade ice cream. Let's walk in. So cute. Oh my gosh. There's so many. And there's vegan ones. Oh my gosh, all this is vegan. Oh my gosh. 